Yo, what is up, everybody? What to it do? It's your boy Mel. We got another one. Rejuvenation. Let's get it. Learning about the golden power has deepened, has held deep within me. Actually, hasn't surprised me much, but Alexandria said something that bothered me. There's two possibilities of our births. Either I was conceived by a woman or I was wished out of thin air, which means I couldn't have a father. That couldn't be true, really. Jenner was your father, that's kinda cool. Jenner was your dad, bro. Thank you. Yeah, like, come on, bro. Now, we're supposed to do some type of training, so yeah, I'm ready. What's up, bro? Hey, it's Aaron. Then I'm in the side. My name is Aaron, I don't have a last name. I don't have a family either, or that used to be a case. Today is November 1st. Per the recommendations of Elita and Melia, I have become the group's tactician. I'm honored to receive this position, but I won't take it lightly. As a way to review my work, I've decided to record our progress. We're all strong in our own right, but we all lack true synergy and discipline. That's what Damien has confined it with me anyway. Regardless, I won't let anyone down. Everyone down. Elita's departure, day three. Okay. After the events of the Aleskia, Elita never got a chance to bathe in the pyramid water. An important part of Elita growth lies within unlocking the final motive for true self. So it was on that day that I've decided to send Elita off on her own as she originally attended. We estimated her journey would take a little bit over a week. I'm gonna put my microphone a little closer. Mel's training, day eight, okay. Today is the day Damien and I had would assess Mel's capabilities to help them. I don't know what Damien meant by this, but Mel was expected to show up to the training room first. All right. Mel, I've been thinking of Narcissa. Well, I have noticed how to change one. Back then, I was so aggressive and harsh on her. She saw right through me and knew I was on the right path. You need some work. Talk to her next time. Talk to her next time, yeah. We need to work on our relationship points with everyone. I imagine relationship points will come in to which ending you get, so probably makes sense to just try to... Ah, Mel, you made it just on time. Are you excited to train? I'm pumped. Glad to hear your enthusiasm will, be enthusiasm will boost, benefit you greatly, as well as mine. Not gonna stand here and pretend we all need work. That's why we're here. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power. <gasps> mega Evo. <sighs> it's been like 10 years and we're finally getting Mega Evolution. Let's go. Surprise. Alexandra had this all set up for you yesterday. It wasn't easy attaining these rings, but here they are. About fucking time. Hope I'm not too late. Just in time to learn about Mega Evolution. I saw a gym leader in Kalos using on TV. Yeah. Good. You won't be using your teams, you'll be using practice teams. Damn. I got a Mega Absolite. Actually, I think Absol's holding it. I. Because I just switched. Took Titar out. Yeah. Yeah, so I have a Mega Pokemon. I have Absol and Mawile. I have Mega Stones. You'll use this. Thank you. Not only will I use this battle style to grab, use this battle to grab your styles, but capabilities to make us. Either way, winning doesn't matter. <sighs> Damn, they changed the music up. Hold on, the music might have to. Let's turn. This music fire, but let's turn it down just a tad. It's kind of. Yeah, shit kind of too loud. Wait, no. I was about to say, don't. Um, I'm going to switch to you because we don't need our Mega getting its ass clapped. Yeah. What is with these shinies? Ah, oh, this ain't good.
I'm dead. You took out the one that's not as threatening. Dilly, bro. I don't do nothing to. the berry uh could at least rock grass right yeah some shot like that i'm just gonna only use flamethrower to take advantage of the the sun yeah just take advantage of the sun these shiny ass Pokemon. I mean, I've lost to you so many times before, but there's not really much to say. GG, I guess. You both still did. Now the shit's lower. Oh my god, okay. I guess that said battle thing was loud. I don't know. You both did fine. I'll be taking these along with the Mega Ring. Don't worry, you'll get it back, probably. Okay, I think uh, that was enough to gather, but Battle Styles, Mel holds a style that I can't really put words on it. Cetric State of Leaves, yeah. It's kind of cool. This is kind of cool. Out of session, what do you think? Some kind of joke? Nah. No need to blow up over my face. Ooh. Sorry, Mel. Thanks for the bow. We can chill out later or something. She not feeling it. Can you chill? Control your temple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my bad. Nice job, Mel. We'll assume this session soon. The 8th, we go to Friday the 10th. Somewhere off the coast of Terra Jumeirah Island, I don't know. Is everything ready to go? Sorry, we're doing, we're doing some pressure checks, but everything should be ready shortly. Madless. Hmm, you're awfully quiet. A loss for words, perhaps? I order you to speak. What do you want from me? To say something, are you seasick or something? No, I'm just, are you sure you want to do this? Oh, please save that drivel. You told me to speak, so I did. What are you even hoping to accomplish with this? I don't know if you're forgetful or just stupid. You were at the meeting when I presented this way back when. You should know exactly what this will accomplish. I didn't forget all these people will. Since when did you begin to have any semblance of empathy for others? Maddie, dear, weren't you the one who was willing to sacrifice an entire village? You lost the right to call me Maddie. It's clear to me you've grown into nothing but an evil, selfish woman. Do as you wish, please. Um, actually, I changed my mind. I want you to stay quiet and just watch. Are we finally ready? Yes, ma'am. Submerge Unit 01. Then do it. This won't end. This won't end with your, with your survival, Cassandra. This will end complete destruction of everyone you know in love I don't think you realize that but if you do then I hope all hope is lost for you Elita's return ah Mel I was just looking for you some sort of emergency you came back alright well since the Pokemon I want can't make it evolve just yet I'm gonna have to make an audible. Actually, oh, uh, hold on, my fault. Actually, nah, I won't make an audible. I'll just leave you here for now. I'll leave you there for now. Uh, I don't know where to go here. Oh. Alita, did you learn? What did you need to learn? Dot, dot, dot. Oh dear, what did we do, Mel? Maybe we should give her some space. Alita, what's going on? Won't you talk to us? Alita? She's hiding something pain painful. 
I could use your help. This girl's doing what she does best to be stubborn, not even say anything. Well, there it is, finally a word. Now that you've now that you've said one, could you possibly say more to describe your trip? I don't know where to start. Please, Alita, tell us what you have learned. You must have learned something. Yes, Vivian must have told you something. I have. Vivian told me everything she knew, or at least I think. But um, I've been thinking way back when. Maybe I should just keep it to myself. It would be better off that way. Well, now I want to know. I was supposed to say, you can't just say that. You can't just say you want to keep it to yourself after getting everybody excited. Like, that's that's some party poop or shit. Something's cryptic. Guys, settle down. Give her space. Yeah, we're sorry. Sorry. It's okay. I didn't mean for it to sound exciting. It's not. You would want to know. But it's important, so I'll tell you all. I met with Vivian. We spoke of a few things, but the most important is the purpose of the Amethyst Grotto. Oh, God. She said, it's the very center of the earth, there's a machine called the core. She wouldn't go into details about it, but she said that's where the power came from. As far as um, the power, her power came from as well as Andrews and Hazuki's? Bro, I butchered that name all the time. I, I, if it's not right, oh fucking well, guys. Come on now. This is, this is referring to the panel that Talia and Kita found in Amethyst Grotto. Oh yeah, from the um, Love, the side game. Through Talia's memories, I can see that she was visibly stuck or frightened with the purpose of this place. I couldn't understand it before, but now has changed everything. Amethyst Grotto was created by the Kufruans. It is unknown whether the fact that they created the core, however, it is clear that they had access to whatever it was. Namira, alongside her disciples, hid this place. This is to ensure the preve uh, prevention evil from gaining access to its power. Even with all this restriction, she knew humanity will need this power. So she devised the test only a pure heart could pass. Over a decade, Kenneth and Talia were tricked into unlocking the seal, opening the door of one of its core panels. Now that the seal is broken, anyone has the ability to access its power. And that power is to delete everything and start over a complete reset. The fuck? These two figures were met up on top of the pyramid. Karen and the girl with the red hair. It was, it was all they're doing. What? A complete and utter reset back to zero? But why? They must want to reset the world, but what will that do? Vivian said, if the world is reset, everything is taken down, which means it's easy to be, everything will be right. Not only that, but once things are reset, events occur differently. So if something didn't play out the way they wanted, they could just hit reset button and try again. But if that's what they wanted, why why didn't they do so already? Unless the prerequisites that they are trying to help stop. They are, the machine takes energy to charge up itself. A process that Mel and I have already started. You must know what I'm talking about, right, Mel? The statues, the soul stone, I have no idea. The statues. That's right, the statues are a key. I was about to say, it has to be the statues. The statues are what hold the souls back, uh, the, hold the souls you bring back. Resetting the core requires five souls to be brought back and sealed. Once that's done, all you have to do is stand on it and activate it currently. Everything we have done, two of the five slots have been filled. Only three souls are required. So yeah. Something's wrong here. I just don't understand the motivation. I can't understand it either. We're a missing piece. And I'm supposed to believe the final... Uh, I believe we understood the final piece. Are you seriously hiding something from us again? I didn't hide it from you. I wanted Elita to tell you in the first place. However, I've known about Amethyst Grotto since I was a little girl. My mother told me about it. About it, about it in the first place. Oh, everything that has been said has been correct except for one thing. It is true that resetting the core activates the world is reborn, but the person who activates it, the one who stands in the center, is exempt from its erasure. Exempt? You're telling me everybody is they're they're given the ability to roam the new world with its memories of the previous one? I believe so. That world has already that world has already been reset once before. No way. That can't be. If that's true, the person who did it is still roaming around our world. And the reason Talia and Kenneth were tricked into opening the grottles is because they wished to reset it once more. But one, but them, but both of them seemed to know about this and they thought only, 
only one can activate the core memories. That much can be spread if the third per if there was a third person added to that group. The one who reset the world and recreated the recreated the henchmen. Shit, that only means it it could be Madam X or maybe someone else. It can't be that many people. It's got Madam X gotta be one one of the one of the candidates. It has to be Madam X. We knew she was working with two Yeah, there it is. Dot dot dot. There is another possibility, someone else. Mel. Um. Bitch, what? Why me? Nemiria. <laughs> Nemiria. If you're reading this, then I hope it has reached my descendants. Rejoice, my kin, as the new era has come upon us. In this letter, I'll bring knowledge that you must know and remember. I will tell you everything, the hidden tale that I have hid from everyone in this world. Alright, Nemiria. I don't know where a meteor struck the DAD, splitting it, spitting the bean into three. The meteor dragged one of the fragments far away. The second one fragment was mortally wounded, thus could not hold its form for much longer. Um, it eventually deteriorated and fell apart, or so that's what we've been told. Upon its destruction, a soul fell in from the heavens. It landed in front of me as if it was destined to. It called out from the wandering soul and said in the mirror, I'm a child. Please listen while I don't have much time to speak. My name is Idris, the be the third being in the trifecta of the world's deity. Hold on. I'm going to turn this down for y'all because it's going crazy. Yeah. God, I please I beg of you. I did that as I was told I was bringing the soul to the grotto and sealed the soul within deep within Arceus. The voice spoke to me one more. I shall lay here for the rest of eternity until one day when the world needs me again. I shall be reawakened and I will inherit the being that set me free. Uh, together we shall bring peace to the world again. Keep this a secret even from your family until the time is right. I hope I hope for this world is not lost yet. That's insane. Like, um, before we, before we continue, like, that's really, 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 really crazy. Like, really? The fuck? Uh, quite recently, a trainer has visited me. I believe they said that their name was Mel. This person hosts the soul of Edris. I felt it. No, I saw it. I saw him. Resting within Mel soul Edris has been set free and if that is the case the world has already been reset Please bring Mel to the obelisk if Eldris is to wake up from his sleep It should present itself to you you and your family of the future. I bid Mutant you to your family of the future. I bid well one final time. I love you all good luck Oh yeah, Mel, I just wanted you to know that I believe and trust you But if Edris is resting inside your soul, then it could only be you this is starting to bleed, bleed into the research Melia and I conducted at the atrium. Melia said that Madam X called Mel the Interceptor. Someone has, someone has, um, who has the Interceptor Destiny. So it's right on brand. Does that ring a bell to you, Mel? Yeah, you know what? Something really weird happened back at the pyramids. We were pan panicking on the lower flow, and then there wasn't any water or anything. But then Mel spoke an entirely weird voice. I know for a fact that it wasn't Mel because Alita was caught off guard too. Right, Alita. I do remember, but I don't believe Mel is being malicious or anything. I believe in him. As I do, I. Mel's done nothing wrong to us. No evil purpose. Mel's been a real trooper through all of this. They couldn't just set up without helping. I will say this. Mel's been certainly useful and pleasure. Be around in general. Nothing malice about him. Mel's my friend. That's about a mind of it. What do you have to say about this, Mel? I don't remember. It couldn't have been me. Dot dot dot. I don't remember, bro. I ain't look. If the possibility is there, the possibility is there. But I'm not about to lie to y'all. Oh, Mel. I believe the tower is what Namira referred to as the obelisk in the comment letter she's mentioned within you. But you have to deep down. Okay. Oh, if you hold down B, it just speeds, it makes it go faster. And that's cool. Mel combined with the four of us. Mel's combined with the police. Okay. Alright, hold on, boys. 
Do I want to just end here and start the next episode? Because it's already been 20 minutes. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to stop here, and then next episode I got y'all.